What's up guys, what's going on? Camp Out coming at you with a review. Uh, as you can see, Enzo all over the box. You got a little New Balance there. I'm gonna drop it down, but right off the bat, this is a size 11. Uh, the color is gray. I'm just doing the box for now. Uh, Dover Street, Ronnie Fi, New Balance. Um, it's just a collaboration between the three brands. Uh, the three colorways are, I guess, iconic to them. Anyway, the 574 um, is a new model, 574S, with the fresh foam as the outsole or midsole, whatever have you. Definitely looks dope. Integrated with the, the sock liner on the inside mesh. So it's definitely dope. I'm gonna get the box out of here and we'll get into the review. I don't really need to get into any other details, but this is the black pair, obviously. So the top of the box has uh, a couple of Velcro strips on there and on each strip, you'll see a New Balance N. And uh, some have 3M underlays, some have suede overlays, some have leather underlays. Um, there are a lot of variations to what they did here with these ends, which is kind of crazy. Uh, a lot of people are like, this is unoriginal, whatever, it doesn't matter. I don't give a fuck if it's original or not, I like it. So, is what it is. This is the black pair, we'll get into that momentarily, but I just wanted to show you what the box looked like on the inside prior to me cleaning it out, and uh, we'll do a cutscene. All right, back at it. So before I get into the shoe, I'm gonna show you exactly what the layout inside of the plastic bag and the top of the box was. So as you saw in the uh, the black pair, the top of the box had Velcro strips on it. They have ends attached to them. They say there's 28 variations or 28 different ends or 28 ends um, inside each box. These are the 28 in stacks of two. You could see uh, some have 3M underlays on them. Uh, some have white 3M underlays on them, uh, leather upper, um, this is a leather upper, new buck upper, uh, I think this is a suede upper. They're all very, very different. I mean, not very different, but I mean, as you can see here, you have a lot of different variations you can do. You can see that I have one up and one down. One's for the medial, one's for the lateral. So the only way to complete a set would be to have two pairs uh, of a shoe, because obviously you're not gonna be able to do all four sides, medial, lateral, medial, lateral, and left and the right shoe uh, with per se salmon and they only fit one way. So like if you don't get it in the correct way or have the right side on there, it won't work. I'll show you that right there. So like you see this one locks right in, but if you take the medial side and try and put it on there and no matter how you invert it, it's just not gonna sit correctly. So you definitely have to be weary if you do have more than one pair or you're trying to get another pair, you don't get them mixed, matched and confused. Uh, that's the only thing that I was really like worried about was getting them shuffled up. But I mean, it's medial and lateral, so as long as you have one side, you'll have the other side. But if you wanna finish a complete set, you need two pairs, which is, uh, it was kind of like a big question outside, because like, oh, if there's 28, how many could they possibly give you? Is it four of each color? I don't know how it works. So uh, they gave you two of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So there's 12 with a medial and lateral in a whole bunch of different iterations. The black seems to be the same though. I think these are all one. So if you want to do black across the whole thing, you could, if I'm not mistaken. I'm almost positive that these two are exactly the same. Uh, I don't see a 3M differential and I don't see an overlay differential unless I'm just not seeing it. But it looks like, yeah, this would be all the same. So you could do one full set, which makes sense. But the way that it came was these four up in this corner here, the white, the cove, the salmon, and the burgundy were on each different side of the shoe. So that was kind of confusing to me because that's your last iteration, but you can't double up on any of these, which is kind of frustrating to me. But that was the only thing that threw me off as far as the ends inside the box go, that and the medial and lateral side. So let's get into some detailing on the shoe. Very fire, I had mentioned that I'm not a big fan of the 574, but with this fresh foam midsole, it's very, very dope. Yeah, I do like the model a lot, especially with this addition of the uh, the sock liner. So th there's two portions to this. I thought this was all new buck or suede on the upper as well. For the mesh sock liner, it is not. Because sometimes they could do like a, you could see it's double stitched. So, or it closes off and starts again. So I thought maybe this was all suede up here, just like the toe box, but it's not. This is all mesh sock liner, locks your foot in pretty well. These are a size 11. If you're worried about sizing, I would go uh, true to size. If you want some room, go 0.5 up. It's not like your standard New Balance where you already have room in your TTS. Um, I always go to 10 and a half in New Balance and I was a little weary. Size 11 fits fantastic. Uh, not mad at it whatsoever. So your toe box has got a perf New Buck, 
across the entire the toe box in the same color that goes across the entire shoe. So it's it's really easy to wear with a lot of things. Honestly, you could take the end off and just wear it like this if you really wanted to. Um, there are no gray ends, but there are black ones, so you could throw it in there if you want to match up with just about anything. Uh, same thing, you got new book across your toe cap, all the way leading into the medial side. We'll keep on the lateral side for now. Uh, new buck again, you got a velcro patch in here where the end logo goes, plastic area rolling down into your heel cup, new buck again, your sock liner follows into the heel portion with a bright 3M flash and a more dull 3M flash in the lower portion of the pull tab. Uh, there's no branding on the pull tab. Uh, you have a plastic hit around your lower portion of your heel cup leading into the midsole, into the medial side, mirror from the lateral side. You got your sock liner again, you got your plastic hit again, you got your Continuing new buck. It's really nice material, by the way. Very, very short hair. Very, very smooth. Very, very clean. I have to add that because the price point was 180. Then you got your blanked out or your velcroed area for your end logo, and then rolling into your toe cap, you got your new buck again. Uh, for some reason, the suede on this toe box feels very, very flat. It doesn't feel as good as the uh, or the new buck on the toe box doesn't feel as good as the new buck on the uh, the toe cap area. I don't know if that's just this pair because it looks like this pair is way better, and it is. So it's a little flat on this one. It's just a quality defect. It's uh, it's not your video. It's not your screen or anything. It's definitely the quality control on this toe box because this one's way smoother. Uh, you could probably see the brush strokes in this one, whereas you couldn't see it in the other one. Uh, so I don't. I'm, maybe I'll just brush it up a little bit and see if I can bring the hair or the nap back up. You do have lace options in here as well. They came with a white flat and a gray flat. Uh, I'll probably leave the white ones in there though. I think the way uh, I think the way they pop in there is pretty nice. You have new on the tongue area of the sock liner in 3M. You guys can probably see it flash around a little bit, and then you have 574 on the other upper portion of the sock liner where the tongue would be or should be. Very very clean. Um, footbeds. Let's do footbeds real quick. So footbed inside one you have nothing. It says Ronnie Fog down there. I swear to God it does. I can show you one of the other shoes because I don't have shoe trees in them. But just to get this out of the way, and the other one says Dover Street Market. Uh, very clean. I, I, I like the shoes a lot. I wasn't going to get the blue pair. Uh, I was a little thrown off by it, but I wound up getting all three anyway, just because. Uh, I'm going to throw some of these Velcros on here, and this is not the right one. So I can't throw that one on there. So you can see right away if you're putting the right one on or not. I'm just going to lock it in there. And they fit rather easily. It's very easy to take them off. You don't want to rip them too hard, though, because it is cut to be the V area. So if you pull it too hard and it gets caught on the Velcro, you're probably gonna wind up ripping that. So I'd be very, very cautious. Go inside here with this guy. Good to go. It's that simple to get your logo back on there. A little coal, a little salmon. Very, very nice. Everything pops very well on the gray pair especially, which is why I put it out first. Um, any iteration that you wanna do is probably gonna look good on here. I can't use this one. Keep going back and forth, I'll figure it out. <laughs> uh, either way, it looks dope. Anything with the gray is good. I'll pull out the blue pair momentarily. Uh, we'll have a little cutscene, and I'll get right back to you. Last thing before I go, as you can see, I threw a couple of the end logos on there. This is a black with a white underlay. This is a black with a 3M underlay. You probably can't see it too well, but it's there. I know it is. <laughs> uh, the other, I use the salmon. It's a 3M salmon upper with a 3M underlay. And this is a cove 3M upper with a white 3M underlay. So. You can see it's really easy to just do whatever you want with this shoe, which is dope. The only thing that's shitty is that <laughs> the Cove with the 3M and the Salmon with the 3M are singles. It's only one of those. So if you have two pairs, obviously you can make it happen and you could probably do a Cove and a Salmon in inverse or vice versa or visa or visa. But yeah, it's a little aggravating that it's not like I can't do a whole pair like that, like having the other one would. Anyway, all right, let's get into the shoes. Next up. We got uh, same thing, same box, same everything. The only differential is the color on it. This is the black pair. These are a size 10 and a half. Uh, I got caught into a little bit of a mix and uh, I wound up with a 10 and a half. I tried to help a friend out and gave him the 11. They had a 10 and a half left and I said, you know what, I'll just take that. Um, you know, try to help everybody out. But the 10 and a half it isn't really that snug. It's a little bit closer than I'd like it, 10 and a half, which is why I stayed with the 11s in the other two shoes. But if you're on the fence, you're not really sure what to do, it's not gonna kill you 
to go with uh, the 0.5. Like I said, my left foot is an 11, my right foot is a 10 and a half, and it can get a little dicey sometimes depending on the shoe, but this still works. I'm gonna get into it. I showed you part of it before. You got your uppers, or all the ends, I should say. The box is nice, but it's also a little cheap. You got burgundy, blue, black. It's basically the same exact thing. I think you have more black iterations on this pair than you would with the other two. I could be crazy though. Yeah, it's, it's more or less the same. I'm looking at it inside the bag, so just about the same. So nothing too crazy. The only thing good is, like I said, when you have two pairs, you can more or less swap out and make a full shoe for one thing, of one thing. Let me close the box up. I'm gonna keep the ends out there. They came with all black in there, so obviously, well, you know what? Yeah, they do have a little bit more because there's more black. This came with all four black in there and not a differential or a single, and I don't see the cove with the salmon overlay, but either way, dope. I wanted the shoe because it's triple black. Uh, everything about the shoe is black. There is no if, ands, or buts about it. Everything is completely the same. You got your mesh, you got your suede, you got your new buck. This, see, this feels hairier, so I would call it suede, but. The other one was just too flat for me. It's all new buck though, it's all clean. It's the same shit anyway, but either way, definitely dope. You can wear this all year round, I feel like. Uh, I love my Ultra Boost, the, um, the triple black 1.0s. I wear them a lot and I wanted something that was triple black as well. Same thing with the sock liner, very comfortable. I'll take that, I was, I was very pleased with this. And this is probably like my go-to, but looking back and throwing on a different color, I'll show you what I mean in a second. I wasn't very happy with how the color iterations look on the black. I, I, I don't know, maybe it's just my eye, maybe it's because I like triple black, I'm not really sure, but I didn't like the way a lot of the colors popped on the shoe. And I mean, it's black, it should pop very easily, but may, maybe I'll come across a color that looks good to me or pleasing to me, but either way, the triple black will suffice. Not mad at it whatsoever. Same thing on the footbed, you got Dover Street down there. Trying to do, what is that? thing blocking a little hole there. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, you can see Dover Street now. Take the other paper out. Get out of there, you got Ronnie down there. Where are you, Ron? In there, good to go. And uh, I'm gonna get into the blue pair real quick, so we'll do a little cutscene. Oh wait, before I leave, uh, they did come with extra laces as well, so you had black flats in there, and then you got, let me turn this down and this down. And then you got a white flat as well. So, give me a minute, little cutscene, get back to it. And last but not least, I already opened up the box. As you can see, same layout as before. You got all of your ends in there, blah, 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 black, black, black with the 3M, white with the 3M, salmon, whatever. Uh, I did like the navy in hand. This is why I ended up getting all three. The navy just had a nice pop to me. It looked clean. It really is like an OG feel for the shoe. Um, quality is there. I, I just like it a lot. I'm gonna take them out and we'll, uh, we'll get back into it. So I just realized what the differentials were as far as the end logos that go on the shoe. So the navy pair or the blue pair, whatever you wanna go with, comes with a mint 3M, white 3M, much like the other. This is a, I guess more of a bluish, light blue, I don't know, but like more of a blue hint or hue. 3M, and then again with the Salmon 3M. So at least you got two Salmon 3Ms if you got gray and you got the the blue pair, but they did not come with the black pair. The, the black pair came with an all black 3M outer. So that was the difference. I was wondering what the differences were, so there it is. Your difference is you have different N logos in 3M as the introductory logos for each the gray and the blue pairs. So if that makes sense to you, there it is. <laughs> Either way, everything else is identical on the shoe as far as material goes, colorways are a little bit different. So you got blue on the toe box and a nice brush suede. You got nice new buck on the toe capping, medial panel here, or yeah. Everything is uh, is pretty nice on the new buck. Medial panel rolling into the heel area. Same thing, new buck. You got a great plastic kit. Uh, sock liner on the upper, 3M as well. Uh, in the new area on the top of the tongue or sock liner, whatever you want to go with, rolling into the heel cup. Same as a great pair, a brighter 3M flash with a 
actually navy 3M hit, so it's not the same as the gray pair because the gray pair had a gray hit in here. And uh, rolling into the lateral side of the shoe, mirror from the medial, you got your navy new buck, your under area or your underlay again. Nice new buck, toe cap stretching towards the front portion of the shoe. Nice new buck as well, and a beautiful, beautiful toe box in the suede. Very clean. Uh, they're very comfortable as well, I don't know if I mentioned that already, but I will do an on foot for you guys So give me a few minutes if you're not subscribed hit the subscribe button You have any questions or comments hit me in the comment section and uh, as always everybody that was out there today That said what's up. Uh, I'll shoot the vlog or I'll put it up at some point uh, It's not gonna be long it'll be short, but a shout out to everybody that said what up and showed love appreciate you very much um, Like I said if, if I'm there talk to me. I'm there. I gave out some stickers not crazy But you know it was cool. It rained all day. So it's whatever anyway. I'm getting out of here Peace.